Welcome back, guys, to another video. You got Misfit Chris here. I hope you're all having a good day. Uh, but before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell for all future notifications. Um, so today I got another pickups video for you guys. Um, it's a multiple different type of pickup uh, video where I'm going to talk about another some more pickups from the Salvation Army. And I went to Ross. I got some pickups there. And... Um, I also went to some other thrift stores on 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 island um, where I got some pickups. So um, I actually went on Facebook Book Marketplace as well. So the very first thing that I got off uh, Facebook Market, well, it's the only thing I got off Facebook Marketplace was all right, guys. I got this Sony boombox that plays iPods. So like it's an old school like early '90s Sony boombox. So I got the whole thing for 40 bucks. It's a 30 gig um, um, Apple iPod, which I thought was sweet for only 20 bucks. The screen's got a little, few little defects or whatnot, but this uh, cool little uh, tray goes like inside like that. And then when you want to put it out, you just press it and then it slides back out. It's pretty ghetto, but <laughs> old technology. But I thought it was cool for 40 bucks. And then I, then I stickered it up with uh, this uh, Gears of War sticker. And then a rip and dip turtle sticker, so kind of stickered it out a little bit. But yeah, it's pretty proud on that find. Probably pretty pretty cool deal. So I got that on the Facebook Marketplace. Um, so next up, we're talking GameStop. I got a couple GameStop pickups. Um, I thought this was a pretty sweet deal. It was only twenty bucks for Alex the Kid. This has been out a little while. Um, you get a keychain. Get a cool little keychain on this one. Thought that was really cool and um, you also get this really cool little manual that says Sega on it yeah it says Sega see it there yeah so I thought that was sweet and then the insides I mean it's just old it's awesome the way they did it it looks so cool such a cool uh such a cool little package for twenty dollars you know and I'm really enjoying this you can flash back between the old school retro graphics and uh, the the new school graphics. So yeah, 20 bucks, keychain, little manual, you know, a little tight little package for $20. So I was stoked to get this. This was a no brainer. If you don't got this and you like plat old school platformers, get it. Um, let's see, next up. All right, so I was really, really excited to get this. I mean, I paid $40 for it, but it's a rarity. You don't, oh yeah, I thought I had it upside down, <laughs> but I don't. Um, anyways, um, yeah, so this was $40 at GameStop. Um, it usually goes for, I think over a hundred sealed over like a hundred and some sealed. Cause they didn't, I don't think I made a lot of copies of this, but this runs at 160 frames per second. So at 1080p. So, um, it runs quicker than the original version. Plus it's got all the DLC. And I'm, I mean, if you guys don't know yet, I'm a major uh, Marvel vs. Capcom uh, uh, fan. So this was awesome to pick this up. I think this runs the high 50s to $60, 60 some dollar range on this game. Um, so yeah, it actually comes, it makes it more valuable when you get it with the comic. So it comes with this little comic on the inside so I thought it was super cool that I was able to pick this up and that it had the uh, comic on the inside so but yeah so that was the GameStop pickups so I thought those were two great pickups that I got there at GameStop I, I got so excited when I saw this I was like because I already own this on the PS3 I have the PS3 version but you know this is the definitive version if you ask me I almost forgot to tell you guys man so well, on the on the way to GameStop, uh, I also picked up a free CRT TV. I'm going to put a little picture so you guys can see the TV I picked up. But uh, but yeah, <laughs> they had a free CRT TV there, um, and they said you want it. I said shoot, you know. I mean, I'm compiling too many CRTs. So, but eventually you're not going to be able to get those anymore. You know, they're going to start having some value. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it kind of stemmed from me asking about their kiosk, their PlayStation 4 kiosk, because they never play it 
or anything like that, but apparently they have to hold on to it because uh, PlayStation says so. So, <laughs> but the manager said she'll keep me in mind when the day comes. So I'm excited for that day. Hopefully I'll score that PlayStation 4 kiosk. Um, all right, so next up, I only got one game at the Salvation Army and you know, I can't pass up Need for Speed. <laughs> Anything Need for Speed, um, I always pick it up. So this is a PSP, um, PSP game. And um, I'm gonna be doing a PSP video here probably not too long from now uh, but yeah super clean super clean copy on the PSP of Need for Speed Rivals so happy to pick that up all right so next up is Ross so I got this Friday the 13th I think for $8.99 at Ross so that was pickup number one <laughs> pickup number two cheap probably the cheapest game I ever bought I got NHL 20 sealed um might as well crack it since we got the video rolling, right? <laughs> Haven't even opened it yet. So, um, so yeah, I, got, I picked this up for 49 cents, guys, at the at Ross. <laughs> I think they were selling it for $12, and I was like, ha ha, yeah, okay, I'll just wait for you to, and, and the, they had a pile, you know? So I was waiting for days to, to um, for it to go down in price, and it finally did. They were even selling uh, Animal Crossing on the Wii. You know, so I think for two dollars, but yeah, so forty nine cents. I would have bought more, put it up on my eBay store. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so yeah, let's get the seal open. I always like the way these seals sell when you first take them off. Yeah, nice and crispy, clean copy. All right. See, I mean. I love sports games and I love hockey games. I've been playing some of that old school, like hockey, like from back in the day on my uh, Raspberry Pi, like arcade game. And it's pretty sweet. So, but yeah, I'm excited to try out this hockey. I've never tried any of the new hockey games, honestly, like for like the newer generation. It's all, I've always, I've only played like an old school Sega and, you know, so I've never really tried hockey, but I'm excited to, to try that out. So, um, next up we got, I, okay, so I got Gears of War 2. Gears of War 2, I picked this up for two bucks. What a good deal, right? I mean, Gears of War, I mean, it's just, an, they're, they're just a great, they're a great franchise, great game. Love Gears of War. This one is complete. Complete, and then the disc is a little scratched. A little bit scratched up, but not too bad. Not too bad. Um, next up, Gears of War 3. This one's not complete, but... I don't have this. I put the stickers aside, but it did come with a, a sticker. A stickers. It did come with stickers, so that was freaking awesome. And you, as you saw, I put some of those on my Sony uh, player that I just got for the iPod. Um. So that was a that was another thrift store. That was actually my auntie. My auntie runs a thrift store. Um, she created it, um, but they're only open one day a week ever since the pandemic started. So um, I was lucky to hit that place up, and they have those two uh, games there. Um, this is a place called Mac Tech. I've mentioned this place in another video. I went and picked this up. Um, Heavy Rain. I've heard, this is, I mean, the reviews, I mean, you know, 10 out of 10, you know, I mean, it's, I mean, I, I've heard this game's really good, so I think I paid $5 for this. So I was stoked to get this in the PS3 collection and eventually try it out and play it. Um, it is complete, pretty clean. I think the disc is pretty darn cherry too. Pretty clean, oh yeah. Yeah, no issues with that disc little bit of dirt on the cover nothing i can't wipe off but yeah super stoked to put that in the collection all right guys so next up we got uh vhs so <laughs> for, for those of you who don't know and your first time on the channel i started i started collecting vhs so i'm actually going to be putting up a shelf in my uh game room today i'm going to be putting up a shelf for the vhs because they're piling up everywhere <laughs> uh first up we got meet the parents i love this movie never i, I don't know i can watch it a million times i still laugh super hard <laughs> All right, um, next up, me and my wife watched this last night or made it partway through it, uh, Independence Day. Um, I saw this twice when I was living in Georgia at the theaters when it first came out. So um, when, I, when I put this on the, the CRT on my uh, Sony VHS player, man, it just, it's just super nostalgic to uh, watch that on the CRT. Um, next up, I got uh, Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. Now this one I've, I've 
like probably seen like like Independence Day. I've probably seen it like 30 plus times or more than that. But I never get tired of it, man. I love Indiana Jones. Always been a big fan. Like I think like I think a lot of people are. Um, so yeah, stoked to put this in the uh, VHS collection. And then I got uh, Spirited Away on DVD, sealed. I think for a couple dollars, not maybe two or three bucks. This one actually was at Salvation Army. These others two that I just showed you were at my auntie's thrift store. Um, and the rest of the VHS I'm gonna show you are from my auntie's thrift store. So next up, now this copy of Jumanji was super clean, super clean. I mean, I, if somebody like probably played the VHS like one time, I mean, man, it is a clean copy. So anyways, next up, uh, I got Matilda. <laughs> Um, I've seen this movie like one time, so it's not really like fresh in my memory, but me and my wife think we're gonna watch this one tonight, so Happy to have Matilda in the collection and then uh, oh, yeah, I saw this in theaters when I was a kid. This is a uh, classic man uh, Muppets Treasure Island. Heck yeah, great movie has uh, Tim Curry in it, so Can't go wrong with Tim Curry man Rocky Horror Picture Show Next up man. This is just a classic man. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, I'm a dude and it's kind of a Little girl chickadee flick, but man, I can't get enough of The Little Mermaid, man. I love this movie growing up. The Little Mermaid's freaking awesome. And this is uh, The Black Diamond, if you can't. Yeah, so they they re-released this so many times, but this is the original, 1980. I'm trying to remember, but I know it's late 90, late 90s release, very late, like 89, something like that. So I already have a copy of that, but it wasn't nearly as clean as that one. And then I love this one. I mean, I don't know. This is super nostalgic for me, Bambi. <laughs> And it's a black label. I mean, look at how old this thing looks on the label. <laughs> they didn't even fit it, like, in the area here or anything. Like, you know, they did the stickers, like, all off. <laughs> but, yeah, you could look, tell it looks super. I just love it, man. It's just, I love it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Anastasia. Man, this is a real, this is, like a, this is a hard case. This isn't soft like the Disney cases. My wife picked this one up. Um, I'm not too familiar with it. I mean, I think I've seen it maybe one time or something, you know, a long time ago. But uh, this is, again, another super clean copy. Somebody dropped off, like, their whole VHS collection at my auntie's thrift shop, I think. And then last, yeah, see, here we go on the, this is the Hunchback of Notre Dame, but see, this is the old label, or the new label, I mean. Um, so it says uh, Masterpiece Collection. Yeah, so they re-released it so many times. But yeah, Hunchback of Notre Dame, guys. Yeah. All right, so that's my pickups. Let me know what you think about all my pickups. Um, thank you so much for coming and joining me on my uh, video pickups video today. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell for all future notifications because everyone counts, guys. Because as I'm new to YouTube and, um, you know, so everybody that likes and subscribes to my channel and helps it grow just really means a lot to me. And um, I'll catch you now in the next one, guys. Bye.